Summer's Heat has finally found its way here to Maryland. And so I've really been focused on making myself some summer basics, which in this case are tank tops. So I've made two different tank tops. Let me tell you about both of them. I'm Mari with Mari Sews, and thanks for hanging. So I have made two different tank tops. And if I'm going to be honest with you, both of these tank tops are actually pretty good. I've been wearing these tops and I, I think they are both drafted pretty well. The problem, actually all of the problems that I had making these tank tops were 100% user error. It was my fault. Okay, so for the floral tank here, I used Quixel 2948. This pattern right here is actually a, well, you can see that it's a cardigan and a like little turtleneck, a sleeveless turtleneck or a just regular tank top that you can put underneath. I opted to make view B, but the tank top only. I did not touch the actual cardigan. Fabric wise, this pattern calls for a stretch knit that has at least 35% stretch going across the yeah across the grain which is a considerable amount of stretch um, so make sure that if you're using some of those really cute cotton knits that you, you can get printed on make sure that it has the required stretch that's needed for this because let me tell you I've made a t-shirt before using some really cute prints that I picked up from an indie designer and the stretch wasn't there. I hadn't checked. I hadn't. I hadn't even checked it. I just cut my fabric and sewed up some tops, and they were way too small. So make sure that you're really checking the stretch on your fabric. The fabric that I used here, I actually had in my stash. I picked this up from Joanne's about a year ago, and it feels like it's a double brushed poly and it does have significant stretch here. I really love this fabric. It feels just so incredibly soft against the skin and it's got a bit of a spongy texture to it. And you can see that it actually has these really large red flowers, but then there's also a couple of yellow and pink ones and then the green leaves um, on a black background. The inside of the fabric is actually this white. So this design was printed onto white fabric, but it, it looks pretty vibrant. It's really, it's really a nice fabric. And it's sewed up like a dream. So sizing for Quixel 2948, um, you're looking at busts starting at 31 and a half inches, which is an extra small, going all the way up to a 45 inch bust at the extra large. Now, I have pretty narrow shoulders. My high bust measurement is 38 inches and my full bust is 44. So I never ever choose the size that corresponds with my full bust because I end up swimming in it. I have armholes that are just way too low. It, it just, it never fails. So I always choose my size based off of my high bust and then I do a full bust adjustment. So that way I can make sure that, you know, the tatas are covered. So in this case, I decided to go with the medium, which has a bust size of 37 to 38 and a half. The waist on the medium, however, is 27 and a half to 29. So I actually had to grade out to the extra large. So that way I didn't have a tank top that was too, just too tight along my waist and going down to my hips. I definitely wanted this top to be comfortable. This pattern actually calls for you to turn over the edges. So you turn them in along the neckline and the arm side and you just sew those down. Well, I unfortunately did not read directions because for some reason that just totally escaped me. <laughs> I mean, and typically that wouldn't be a big deal until after I'm getting ready to attach, you know, arm bindings or bands or whatever. But in this case, it really kind of messed me up when I was doing my full bus adjustment. I went ahead and I cut out the size medium and I just went in and cut my pattern piece, right? I mean, like everything else gone 
<laughs> but I did grade out to that extra large. To do the full bust adjustment, however, I pivoted from that shoulder up and drew the new line so that way I could get that full bust adjustment. And then I went in and I redrew the medium sized arm side. But when I did a tissue fitting of the actual new pattern that I had made, and if you've never done a tissue fitting, all it is is you take that little half pattern that you've drawn up or cut out and you hold it up to your body, taking into account the seam allowances and you see how it's actually going to fit. Well, when I did that, the arm side was just really close to my, my arm actually. It was all the way up into my armpit. And I just knew that wasn't going to work for me. So I went and I cut out some of that curve there. And then it ended up making my arm side much longer. Well, I really didn't think twice about it, right? So I cut out my fabric, started sewing everything up. And then when I went to go turn under the fabric, my arm side were just way too low now because I had removed that additional fabric. It was just a mess. I realized at that point, the arm side probably would have been perfect had I not messed with them and elongated them and cut away from it <laughs> in the first place. I, sh I just should have stuck with that medium sized arm side that I had used to redraft that opening because after I flipped it over, it would have been perfect. Now, the arm side on this tank top are, well, well, they're doing some little funny things. To try to make up for that mistake, because you know I'm all about making it work, right? Like, I made a mistake, let's see if I can fix this real quick. So I cut out some bands and I decided to attach bands to the arm side here as well as the neck. And it helped bring it up a little bit, but I mean, still it's not, it's not where I would have liked it to have been. It does not mean that this top is not wearable. I'm still going to wear this top, especially when I have to go back into the office, but you know, it's just something to keep in mind. One other thing that I noticed about this top is that for some reason, even though I cut the medium, the back neckline actually pulls away from my body a little bit. So if I were to make this pattern again, I would definitely have to adjust the back neckline just a bit and remove a couple of, remove just a little bit of space. But to be honest, I'm not gonna be making this pattern again and it's not, it's not the pattern's fault. It's because I went in and I hacked up the heck out of this pattern and it's out of print. And quite honestly, I don't feel the need to go out and buy another one. So this pattern is destined for the trash and it makes me kind of sad because I ruined it. But that's okay because I have plenty more tank top patterns. And then there's the cashmere at Saybrook tank. Now you might be looking at this like, Mari, those look like they're the same exact two tank tops. Uh, well, kind of. Out of all of the tank tops that I've made, this is my favorite pattern. And honestly, I think the big helper here for this pattern is that, well, I did not have to do a full bust adjustment. If you've never sewn with cashmere patterns, she has built-in cup sizes um, for all of her patterns, all of the top patterns. I mean, you're not gonna have a cup size for your bottom. That would be interesting. <laughs> okay, so the Saybrook pattern right now is um, one of the patterns that she hasn't graded down yet. So this one does start at a 12 and it goes up. I don't quite remember the end size, so I'll make sure that I note it down at the bottom. And it's made for knits. Although I didn't have to make a full bus adjustment to the cashmere at Saybrook, I did have to shorten the torso. So I, along the, you know, lengthen, shorten lines, 
I removed an inch from that area so that way it so that way it just hit me at a spot that I like. And again, make sure that you're choosing a knit that has the appropriate amount of stretch. This fabric right here is an ITY knit that I picked up from Fabric Mart. And actually, it's the same fabric that I used to make my mother her split side slit tank. This one over here. <laughs> I had enough left over to make myself not just one tank top, but two. And if you're interested in the details of this thing, you can check out the link above. This red ITY is much better suited for very hot temperatures as opposed to this double brushed floral polyester that I used to make the other tank top. The Cashmere at Saybrook tank top does use bindings to finish the neckband and the armhole. What you're supposed to do is sew it onto the front and then flip it over to the back and catch the other side, just leaving it flat and sew that in. That's not what I did several times. So this is really where things went wonky. So I saw that, you know, we had the strips, the actual bindings. And so I cut out those pattern pieces and then I looked at the arrows and I said, oh, okay, well, that's interesting. And I cut the bindings with the arrow going in the direction of greatest stretch on my pattern which was not the thing to do. It was actually meant to go on the grain line. So you want the actual long length of it to be along the greatest direction of strength. <laughs> stretch, stretch. So that way you can stretch it on around your actual neckband and arm side, like, you know, wherever you're attaching it. And that's what helps it actually lay flat against your body. Well, I didn't do that. And because I didn't have enough stretch in my bindings, I, I was sitting there pulling the heck out of it. Like her directions say to slightly pull, but I am pulling this stuff to the max. I mean, you should have seen me. I was sitting there like, it was a mess. And it looked it too. Not only did I cut my bindings going in the wrong direction, but I actually tried to attach them like they were bands. Okay, so let's talk about the difference between bindings and bands. I already told you that with a binding, you sew it onto the front, you flip it over and you catch the back end, right? So essentially you have fabric that's going over the edge. A band, you fold in half and then you sew into the circle, you flip it over, and typically after you flip it back over, you catch that seam allowance right down here. The actual pattern piece for that was pretty narrow. There were points where my neckline looked like it was disappearing, the actual band, and I was, kept thinking like, why would cashmere have such a narrow band? Girl, it's because it ain't a band. It's a binding. <laughs> so for this top, I cut off the entire um, neck band that I had placed, recut the neck band, and reapplied it using the same exact darn method that was wrong. <laughs> and then, because I didn't want to like fuss with it because at this point I realized, well, geez, not only did I cut it in the wrong direction with the stretch going in the wrong direction, but it's not, it's not a band, it's a binding. I went ahead and I just recut a whole new one. This tank top actually has all of the bindings sewn on properly and this one doesn't. Now, my mother must have felt really bad for me because while I was working on this one, like I was in a real bad mood because I mean, I had cut off the, you know, neck band on this one and now it was looking all wonky. She actually went through with a seam ripper and removed the neck band that I had surged on 
for me. My mom's too nice to me. <laughs> Cause I was ready to throw it away. She is so nice. So I did end up putting on the neck binding correctly. And now I have two tops to wear. I would give one to my mom, but my mom's not my size. So I'm just going to proudly wear both of these. <laughs> So I've added three more tanks to my Summer Basics, and at this point, I am really jonesing to make some kind of dress, something frilly, a nice cute top, something, because these ba these basics are just sucking the life out of me. <laughs> so hopefully I'll have something to show you soon. However, if you are making tank tops for yourself, I'm going to link to a video over here so that way you can check out the Itch to Stitch Lago tanks that I made. That one's a free pattern. I thought it was pretty good and you might actually really like it. And until next time, I sincerely hope that you find joy and have a wonderful day.